AMD CPUs are getting wild, and if you're in the market for a new GPU, you might want to watch this video. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by VIPCDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 30% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 10, just search Activate Under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. So let's start off by talking about those AMD CPUs, as it looks like we got a leak for some next generation, yes, processors coming out from AMD, and these things, guys, look absolutely insane, as according to the leak, which comes from the website videocards.com, where they originally got it from the leaker more Law is dead, and of course, take this with a grain of salt. But according to them, apparently, quote, around September, Moore's Law is dead shared the first architectural details on Zen 5 and Zen 6 directly from AMD's internal side deck. It confirmed the code name for both architectures as Nirvana and Morpheus. The video mainly focused on Zen 5. However, the details on Zen 6 confirmed that AMD is targeting an increased core count per chiplet up to 32 and supporting high precision floating point FP16 operations acceleration for AI and machine learning. But guys, there's yet another leak that just came out from Moore's Laws Dead, and this turns out to be true. Well, this processor is looking pretty insane as it's going to be based off of the Zen 6 architecture, and here's what video cards had to say about it. Quote, the Epic Dash E would appear in two variants, either a standard edition with 64 Zen 6 cores or 32 cores under entry variant. The standard edition would have octa-channel DDR5 6400 memory support and 64 PCIe Gen 5 5 plus 32 PCI Gen 6 interface support. The entry Epic C CPUs would have quad channel memory support of the same speed and 32 Gen 5 and 16 Gen 6 PCIe lane. So that's some pretty wild stuff here, guys. And of course, all this stuff is going to be focused in on the data center. So you might not be seeing, you know, Gen 6 PCIe as soon as you like or stuff like that. However, what we can take away from this and what could be coming to the desktop is higher CPU core counts. I mean, if they're truly moving to 32 CPU cores per CCD, that is a massive increase over the eight that we're currently seeing, a four times increase to be exact, which, yeah, if we saw something similar on the desktop, I mean, that would be pretty crazy, guys, to be seeing a mainstream desktop CPU with upwards of 32 cores per CCD. We could be talking about the end of needing dual CCD chips to get the best performance. Then you throw in some Infinity Cache, and yeah, these could be some really, really powerful CPUs. In fact, even if we only got 16 core CCDs, that is still going to solve a lot of the problems that we have with stuff like the 7950X and 7950X 3D, and these could be some absolutely amazing CPUs for both content creators as well as gamers alike. But now let's go ahead and talk about NVIDIA as yes, if you're in the market for a new GPU, things are getting a little bit dicey as I was thinking that the RTX 4090 shortage that's been going on should be coming to an end. But recent developments have definitely put a pause on what I think about the situation. Of course, I'll tell you what I think at the end of this. But first, this information comes from WCCF Tech. And according to them, it looks like over at BNN Bloomberg, where they originally got their information, the U.S. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo, hopefully I said that correctly, had had this to say about the whole chip situation. Quote, I know there are CEOs of chip companies in this audience who were a little cranky with me when I did that because you're losing revenue. Such is life. Protecting our national security matters more than short-term revenue. Then she went on to say later that, quote, if you redesign a chip around a particular cut line that enables them to do AI, I'm going to control it the very next day. Now, she is talking about the RTX 4090 here. I believe, and I think she's also talking about the RTX 4090D, which we were talking about in a video just a little bit ago, which was NVIDIA's attempt to essentially re-release the RTX 4090 over in China. But if this turns out to be true and they do start to tighten down on not only the RTX 4090, but all other variants based off of that chip, we could be talking about stuff like the RTX 4080 Ti, 4090D, or potentially 
potentially they'll even move on to the RTX 4080, all getting banned over in China. Now, I don't think you'll be seeing any bans in the US. That would be really strange. Of course, I'm not clairvoyant. Maybe they'll be like, hey, consumers, we don't want them doing AI either, so we need to stop them from getting these powerful GPUs. Maybe something like that could happen, but as of right now, they're just trying to control the amount of AI power China has, so they're trying to restrict very powerful GPUs from going over there. Whether or not this is going to be successful or even a good idea, I honestly don't have the answers for that. It seems a little silly to be restricting gaming cards, but I don't know. Maybe there is some legitimate reason. Personally, I don't think so. But this could be causing some problems for you if you're looking for an RTX 4090 or in the future a 4080 Ti or maybe even an RTX 4080 as China is trying to grab every single RTX 4090 they can right now because they know that in the future they're no longer going to be available. And in fact, some companies, as you can see here in a videocards.com article, have already started delisting or unlaunching their RTX 4090 GPUs over in China. So if you are in the market for an RTX 4090, just be aware that if these things do go through, you are going to continue to have a hard time buying these GPUs until they've all been banned for a very long time, probably at least another month, but possibly even longer, shortages could be occurring. But thankfully, it won't be anywhere near as bad as when we had cryptocurrency mining that was a completely different story. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that these RTX 4090s are gonna continue to be out of stock, or do you think maybe within the next, you know, couple of weeks, you will be able to find them at MSRP? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you wanna see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.